kind of said, well, I thought I'd tell us my boss. You know the boss? You know the boss? I do, I remember, sorry, I, I remember half the story and I don't remember the punchline. There was no punchline. I mean, right. apparently he refused. Oh, I see. Or rather, there is, he refused at the time. But I find it quite astonishing if he never anywhere left the record of what it was that turned all that he'd written into story. It, it, I mean, it's usually told in the, that story is usually told in the context of uh, him saying that for all this you know, extraordinary intellectual um, enterprise that he'd been engaged in, it was all like straw compared with the glory of God. Uh, and that's usually the context in which it's told. Whether that's accurate or not, others might know more than me. Um, but it, it's, a, it's a bit like in, in Pascal's coat that was found after he died, you know, that there was um, sewn into his coat was just a piece of paper that it that just said, what was it? You know, glory, glory, glory. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, 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 that's right, yes, and whatever the rest, the, the rest was. You know, you get to a point where you say, actually, all this human attempt to define, analyze, intellectualize becomes like ashes, becomes like straw, um, before the glory, the beauty, the reality uh, above the overwhelming nature of God. So I, I mean, that's how I've heard the story. Right. Um, would you accept that, or do you, does that seem to be the context you think no, it's it can, it can be, can be, It can be understood in a, in a different way, of course. Mm -hmm. It can be understood to mean that everything you've written was nonsense. Yeah. If, if that meant um, the untrue God is not, uh, then that would Nonsense be is the wrong word. I would, vote, I would say worthless. Yeah. And I, I mean, I feel for that. You know, having spent so long working so hard to, as you say, to intellectualize this faith, have to discover that it just doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. it? But, yeah. but, the, but the experience of darkness, of course, is a, is a very real one in, in the spiritual journey. Um, Henry Nouwen, Henri Nouwen, um, was uh, one of his last writings said, was, was talking about, I don't know whether this absence of God is because God doesn't exist, or because I'm just going, going deeper and it's, um, and I'm in a new, whole new world. Um, and it could have been the dazzling darkness of you know, the dark night of the soul and being so close up to God that uh, it all appears dark in there, uh, or it, it could have been that he'd actually lost it. Uh, who knows? Um, so we have to take seriously the darkness, and, and I think anyone who's been on the journey a long time, certainly me, gone through times of, of considerable darkness. Right. Uh, indeed, I wrote a book called God Lost and Found to try to address that, because I think it's a, it's a common experience that we don't own up to in, in enough. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Five more seconds, which I stop. Right. Yes, thank you very much. And uh, please do join us in the Swiss Union Hall for a uh, complimentary wine, and we still can uh, uh, chat with Bishop John. Uh, yes, thank you very much.